Wait a second, was there a golden scatola in here? Pain in the ass. Wait, no, the sun's about to rise. Get in there, get in there. Okay, I'm sorry, I forgot to say hi, but whatever. Hello everybody, we're back with more Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we're here in Kakariko Village. Just barely, just before sunrise, so we're still in time. This still counts as being night. Oh. <clears throat> sorry, I'm sniffing a lot right now. Allergy season and all. Stupid ragweed. Anyway, hit this tree. And there's the first golden spatola. Was there one in here? Nope. Thought there was something in there though. Oh well. Um anyway. Here's another one. He's on this ladder right here. Ah. So let's climb up there and claim our prize. And we're climbing up the ladder, going to get our token. And I got the token, so let's drop back down and almost kill ourselves. Oh yeah, now we're going on upstairs for another one. This one's actually pretty easy to find, but it's easy, also easy to miss. Because you never really expect it to be in a corner somewhere. Even though you should always suspect that. How many do I have, anyway? Seven? Ooh, we actually almost got enough. Now, if only I could find three more. Um... Probably shouldn't even be doing this right now. Oh, I hear another one. Now I remember it was up here, somewhere. There it is. Come here, little bugger. Let's what the hell? Why did I turn around like that? What the hell? Oh, I forgot. You can't swing the sword when you're sitting next to an edge. Ow! 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 You're gonna kill me. <laughs> and that's not good. Okay, that was stupid. Time to go look for some hearts. Uh, if, you, if I were some hearts, I'd be in those bushes over there. Or not. Where am I supposed to find hearts? I can't believe golden scotolas do one a full heart of damage. That is not fair. Is there anything else I can do here, though? I do not believe there is. So let's uh, head to the graveyard, because there's another song that we can learn there. And that and this song will really help with our quest. Come on, would one heart kill you to get... Would it kill you to give me one heart? So here's the graveyard. Pretty creepy place. Um, yes. All right. We're ready for battle. Actually, there's something here. But what was it? I hear another golden. Oh. Okay, we can't get that one yet. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now. Anyway, check this thing. The crest of the royal family of Pyro is described here. And you know what that means. Prove that, prove your connection to the royal family, and... That was kind of a creepy shot of Link's eyes when the lightning flash. <laughs> oh, 
I like how he's still screaming even when he's laying on the ground. Oops, I broke something. Anyway, and drop down here. A royal family's tomb. I don't know why anyone would ever consider going in here, but there are like a couple keys in here that we need to kill. Stupid keys. Maybe it's just pronounced keys. I don't know. There's another one, isn't there? Oh, I see him. His glowing red eyes. So that opens opens up the door. It's kind of up here, and we got some weird Hyrulean writing here. I don't know what it's supposed to be telling me. This place is freaking scary. Ah, oh, shit. Get away from me, you little bastard. Oh, just get the hell away from me. <laughs> yeah. So, those things are re-deads, and if you look at them, they'll freeze you. And that scares the shit out of me. <laughs> so here we have this writing here. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. A rising sun will eventually set. A newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun. Give peaceful rest to the living dead. This isn't an interesting poem, huh? Oh, was Navy reading that? I'm guessing it rhymed in the Japanese version, but I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Something is inscribed on the tombstone. Then again, poems don't have to rhyme anyway, so who cares? It's, it's the secret melody of the composer brothers. Keep the sun songs and keep the sun song in your heart. Now that we have this thing, whether it's day or night, in any time in our quest, it won't matter. Because now we can change it at will. You've learned the sun song. Now isn't that just amazing? Restless souls wander where they don't belong. Bring them calm with the sun song. Well, that kind of rhymed a little bit. Anyway, what they're talking about are these re-deads back here. play the sun song when you're in the same room as them, then this will happen. They'll all freeze for approximately 20 seconds, I think. But just don't fight them. They take way too many hits to kill, and there are just too many of them, so just run. Even with the almighty power of the Deku Sticks, it'll still take quite a, quite a while to put them down. But anyway, I'm going to take out the Deku Sticks here because I think I'm going to need them in a couple seconds because there's something that we can... There are two more things that I want to get here. The only problem is that I'm not entirely sure where to go to get them. But I think you have to look for a grave. I think it might be this one. Don't call Stravolt. Oh, you stupid kid. I don't want you here. Oh yeah, that's right. You can only do this at night. So let's play the sun song. To change it tonight. Okay, so now that we're at night, it should be like midnight in Hyrulean time, I guess. Pull this grave. Should be the right one. Oh, crap. Get away from me! Ah, you little bitch! That thing's a Poe, by the way, but we can't even do anything with it because we don't have a bottle. Is it this grave? Aha, uh -huh, so it was this one. I was just a little bit off. Okay, and so there's a read dead here, so let's uh, play the sun song. Okay, now even when you freeze him, he'll come back to normal once you hit him. So here's what I like to do. Go behind them, and then start wailing on them. <laughs> anyway, once you kill them... I think you play the sun song again, and then something else happens, but I'm not entirely sure. But that's this is what I heard, and some friends told me that too. 
Oh, there it is. Okay. I've never actually done this before. But if... From what my friends tell me, this should be a piece of heart. I sure hope they're right. Alright! Now you collected three. Sweet. So let's uh, get out of here. This place is starting to creep the hell out of me. Um, I think it might be this grave with one of the flowers by it. I'm not entirely sure. How many times can I say that? I'm not entirely sure. I'm never really sure about anything I do, just so you know. Oh, this is it. Wow. <laughs> Alright, we got the Hylian Shield. Yep, I never actually did that either, but that's the way to get the free Hylian Shield, besides buying it for 60 rupees. That's even with the discount. Normally, it's 80 rupees. I don't want to spend 80 rupees on a shield that I can get for free. But anyway, once you have the Hylian Shield, you pretty much don't need to replace it. As long as you play the game right, anyway. As far as I know, um, the third shield you get is the only one that can't go away. So, um, let's go to Long Long Ranch because there are two things that I want to do there. Uh, I, had, I think I thought I had a burp coming along. Uh, there it is. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. I've seen enough of the undead now, I'm getting tired of it. I think I'll play the sun song right here. Just to get you guys off my ass. But once you play it in Hyrule Field, the time will just go really fast. You see that sun? <laughs> I always found that so funny. Like, the sun and the moon will go so fast. And I always thought, like, what would the other people think when they with, if they saw that? Like, whoa! I'm, they probably think they're on LSD or something. So there's Lon Lon Ranch on the horizon. Although it's not really on the horizon, it's more right in front of our own faces. But I might as well just keep this walk, this walking stuff in so I have some time to talk to you guys. Today is now October 20th, 2010. And recently I've been falling behind in my Super Mario Sunshine LP. So actually, I wasn't really feeling well on Sunday, so I didn't really, so I didn't really want to record. So that's why there wasn't an episode of Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, that's why there was like a gap. But I recorded it the other day, and I got some secret shines there, and I just posted the first episode up today. Some people should already be watching it. Um, and anyway, enough about that. We're here in Long Long Ranch in the daytime, and actually, no wait, there are three things I can get here. The first one we need to talk to this guy. Remember this, remember this guy is a towel on. Whatever, I'm wake up right now. What? Well, I'll be, if it ain't the forest kid from the other day. By the by the way, thanks a lot for waking me up. It took some doing, but I finally got Malon back to in, in a good mood. So what are you up to today? You got some free time on your hands, you say? Well, how about a little game? These three cuckoo, cuckoos I have here are special super cuckoos. I'm going to throw these cuckoos into there into that there gaggle of normal cuckoos. If you can pick up these three special birds from among the normal cuckoos within the time limit, I'll give you something good. Mm -mm, my nose is stuffy. Okay, ten rupees, that's cheap. Okay. You have thirty seconds. Now usually I get this on my first try, but sometimes it takes me another try, but anyway, the easiest way to do it is just watch where the where they land at first. Then you can find them. That's one. I think this second one's over here somewhere. There's there's another. Okay, now the third one usually lands over here. But most of the birds are over here, so it's kind of hard. There it is. Golly, I'll be darned. It's plum incredible. That's the last one. You found them all. Come on over here. Already over here. I'm like two feet in front of you. Hey you, you've got a talent to be one of the world's best cowboys. Uh, how would you like to marry Melon, huh? No, not really. Har <laughs> har, I was just kidding, just kidding. I think you're a little young for that, aren't you? Oh, I'm proud to present you with a sample of our very own Lon Lon milk. You'll be energized the moment you drink it. After you drink it, you can bring back the bottle and buy a refill anytime you want. But I will never be doing that. 
Do you got lava on milk? This milk is very nutritious. It's got two two drinks in a bottle, and each one refills five hearts, I think. 